So the woman heard that I done some services on these and she wants to go camping and riding uh, down in Kentucky. So we got everything loaded up. I just have to tie it down. <clears throat> so this is the trailer that I actually built myself and uh, I done a video on building the axles uh, on the trailer, beefing those up. And um, yeah, so this, uh, this here is a generator, an industrial generator. It's actually a light tower that I had bought and took the, uh, took the lights off of it and just uh, use it as a generator. Uh, it's a 6K. Uh, I have two 3,000 uh, watt legs uh, plus a 20 watt leg. Um, so I will, I will be powering two campers this whole weekend, be a long weekend for Labor Day. Um, up on the hill doing some primitive glamping, I guess, instead of camping and, uh, doing some riding. So I'll have two campers plugged into that. That weighs approximately 1500 pounds. Um, I'll have a hundred gallons of fresh water, uh, spare with me. Uh, we have both aces on here and we are going to get everything tied down on here and we're going to hook that to the back of my fifth wheel, 30 foot fifth wheel. And we'll hook the fifth wheel to the new truck. So we'll get everything, uh, situated as far as tied down water filled up I bought a new ball and stuff for the camper uh, to lower it a little bit to lower this trailer down some make it more level uh, we'll get it set up and we'll get that hooked to that and then we're going to Kentucky all right just got all strapped down water tanks full everything's strapped down uh, now it's time to hook this trailer to that trailer and it's time to get on the road get our camping on So, this is the road drain, truck, gooseneck camper, check all the lights, lights all work. Uh, another 16 foot trailer on the back of the camper, and everything hooked up, wires, trailer brakes, uh, safety chains, everything, tongues locked. Put a lot of lights on the trailer here, all the way down across here, both sides. And this is the fun trailer, so. <sighs> Got the naked lady mud flaps back here. So, all right, well, we're hooked up, ready to go. We're gonna lock the house up and hit the road. Yeah, we made it to Kentucky, Louisa, Kentucky. Had to stop at the old Walmarts, pick up some gravy for our biscuits. Some corned beef hash in a can. Almost got some potted meat. <laughs> but we opted not to. Uh, let's check out. Let's go check us out and make sure everything's still tied good. Uh, everything looks good so far.
Yep, all tied up, ready to go. Get back on the road. Big old camper. Well, we made it down here to Kentucky. Got all glory flying. Got the uh, fire pit set up. Everything mowed around, got our own little area happening. Generators running, running both campers. Got the aces down here. Woman's uh, getting ready to come out and we're gonna be doing some riding here soon, so. Can't wait. Gorgeous down here. Oh, well, we had more people show up, which is a good thing. <laughs> getting ready to go ride. The ace is under the tent. It's the one that I typically ride. Uh, we started out on the trail, and uh, I think the stator went bad. So we're going to leave this here, this one anyway, and I'll be riding in that. Spare tires. Well, thank you, everybody.
Number two. Needs a couple more. We got, there's a company on Facebook that's selling a car that has that sidewall slugs. Yeah, that's what we're doing.
These are wild horses down Kentucky where when the economy went south, people just uh, brought them up here to the <clears throat> reclaimed strip ground. And uh, they've multiplied several times over. I mean, they're pretty friendly. They'll come up to you. And this is just uh, just a little little herd of them. So. I think, Bob. See if he'll come up to me. Like somebody just camping out there. <laughs> you looking at my phone? Hey, he's got a big horse yourself? fly on his neck. Oh. <laughs> Is that corn chip? Hi. <laughs> hey, they love Fritos if you got any. I don't see them feet. I got to see them feet. It's a salt. Uh-huh. Well, I just walked around there all of a sudden. Sure. Now you can feed them. Corn chips with a little bit of salt. <laughs> there you go. They don't like Cheetos. That one over there eats everything. Why? What one's branded? So this what one's branded? That one right there. In the middle here. That's a mark. There, you need some water now. He says, "Oh no, I'm Mount Dew." He don't like that. You don't like the sun. Wow. These ones like Cheetos. He likes everybody. He likes. Well, we made it back home, got everything unhooked, unloaded, all that good stuff. Everything's out of the camper. The woman's going to do some cleaning on the camper tomorrow. So I have the generator hooked back up uh, to the camper. Uh, that way she can uh, have some AC and uh, she wants to watch TV or whatever. She can do that, do a little glamping here in the driveway. So all in all, everything done great. Yeah, we had a little hiccup with uh, one of the aces, but that's all right. I still enjoyed it. Woman enjoyed it. We all had a good time. So, um, yeah, I'm uh, back on the road tomorrow and uh, get back to work. So it's definitely a little R&R &R for me uh, and the woman and uh, the rest of my family.
uh, that went. Um, so, yeah, we had a good time. So until the next video, like, subscribe, hit the bell, follow me on the YouTube, and as always, thanks for watching.